Bourbon comes from Kentucky. Bourbon was the whiskey created on the frontier by the farmers and settlers who came to Kentucky. And with the corn that they could grow in this hot climate and the rich groundwater resources, not to mention the oak forests, they could make one of the world's great whiskeys. My name is Jay Ayersman. I'm the Vice President of Strategic Development, and I'm blessed to work with a fantastic team of people here in Luna. Among other things, we are an independent bourbon distillery. I'm pleased to say we make bourbon and rye and many other whiskeys here at New Riff. We also enjoy making gin. Bourbon is a not just a distillation of corn, but for me, a, a sort of a summary of North America, of the grain that grew here, of the oak trees that grow here in such profusion. And in Kentucky, a history of very rich spring water. Happily at New Riff, we do run on a private aquifer, and so we enjoy a great source of water to make whiskey. We also sought to bring the people and the process close together. We do offer free tours, a deep and intimate look into the bourbon making process. What you see at New Riff is first and foremost probably an urban distillery. Rather than the still being hidden in, in an industrial complex, it's right here in a glass and steel tower. You can walk right up and see it. Well, I was brought up with an appreciation of something like the cocktail hour. You know, my parents enjoyed a, a well-made cocktail and, and it was an example of joyous occasion, if you will. That translated eventually into a career in retail. Obviously, it was greatly enriched by working in Kentucky. I had master distillers from all of the great bourbon distilleries, and we could enjoy a, a very close relationship with those distilleries, who really directly inspired us to build New Riff. We enjoy greatly the renaissance that's going on in Cincinnati, of nightlife, of culture. We have a burgeoning restaurant scene, and of course we still enjoy uh, the sports scene here. We have a dynamic soccer team now, and the world's first professional sports team, the Cincinnati Reds, and awfully good tennis.